Hi everyone. Welcome back. I hope y'all are doing great. Welcome back to the Colorspiration. And this is image number six. And I thought we would do some bobble coloring and maybe some pretty falling on our ribbons. That would be fun to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these colors. Now this does not look like this is going to be the right color, but let's go ahead and see. So it is not the right color. That is crazy. We're going to put that to the side. I thought it was red. It is not red. It is orange. See? Look at that. That don't match. Now I'm not sure if anybody's been messing with them and changed the colors or not. So I have to address that later. Just make sure they're all the right colors. You know, since I'm a lefty, it's hard to have stuff on my left hand side when I'm testing out the colors. And then I'll put them back on the right side, the right hand side. Okay. So these are all the right colors except for one. Very odd how that seems to have turned out. So we're going to color. I'm going to try. The problem with this is when I color with my gel pens, my hand smudges over it because I am left handed. And so I can't really focus on that too much. Alrighty. It's one of those fancy packages that you open up and you got t shirts in. You ever do that to somebody? I um I really I mean today is Saturday, right? I don't know what I'm getting the big and little roommate this year. Socks, underwear. I had told him today, the big roommate, I was like, Hey, let's go Christmas shopping. But I really don't want to, but my little guy wants to. I don't have a desire to do that at all. The ink showed up yesterday. I was like, that's a weird thing to have separate ink. Separate packages. They talking about decrease the amount of packages you receive for the trash. And they over here uh, sending two packages out. They could have just gathered all that stuff together. But I am under the impression that they probably came from two different warehouses. So it probably came from one warehouse on one side of town. And another warehouse on another side of town. And that's how they got it. This is so hard we won't be using this gel pen I need to use them more so that I can go ahead and use them up and um, not buy any more but not for a large project but you can see it's sparkly yes we love a good sparkle sparkle well at least I do just as long as it's not loose glitter I don't like loose glitter Loose glitter is dangerous for my eyeballs. And I need my eyeballs to see. So, yeah. So, um, day 25, we will have some inspirational words. I don't know. Because I don't know if anyone's really watching <laughs> the videos. And so, am I at the point where I just say we're not going to do it at all anymore? Because you know how people say, if I just reach one person. It's not really about that so I don't know I mean I can color by myself and not share the video and maybe the images people are like oh it's the same image I don't want to see it I don't know I don't I, I can't the the algorithm situation is very weird I was watching this I was watching a jury making fun collab videos today and um 
because I usually try to wait a few days and then catch up. And since I had some time, some downtime today, I wanted to go ahead and watch them. I didn't get a chance to finish watching all of them, but I was watching a few. And on the side, it was a video of someone, and it was the title caught me right. Of course, that's how they get you right. The title was saying one thing. And then when I watched the video, I was like, I just wasted 12 minutes of my life because what they were asking for, for me, what they wanted was very childish and um, petty. They didn't like something happen to them. And it could have been a different way to go about getting it fixed, but they wanted to do it a different way. And I'm like... You know, it's other people that are struggling to get 500 subscribers or five or fit five or 25 or 200 subscribers and you're complaining about this. And of course, I didn't want to write that in the comment section because then I would have looked like the bitter Nancy or just a negative person. But I just felt like what they wanted was very petty. And then I was like, you know, in this day and age, we live in a a petty world, per se. Let me get this thing to flow. You know, it's more about, about the person. You know, it's about me, not you. Um, that's the mindset that some people have nowadays. And it's not very good to have... Um, because you never know what the other person is going through. I've been discussing those types of things with my friends lately. You know, people always say, why didn't you call me? Well, you have a phone too, right? Why didn't you call me? Or why didn't you do this? Uh, you have the same thing. You know, sometimes people say, I haven't spoken to my whoever in five years and I don't plan on talking to them ever again. And then when I ask why, because they didn't do this, and I just kind of, I'm like, okay. I don't know. If that's what the person wants, you know, if that's what they're speaking into their life, that they don't want to talk to these people anymore, that's fine. But I just find that that's a, and I think probably because I come from a, a less than aspect of some people like people's like I don't talk to my mom or my sister or my cousin or my dad or you know whoever and I'm like well I don't have a sister not to talk to or a mom not to talk to or a dad like I can't be that person where I don't want to talk to my family members because the numbers are dwindling down and whenever you ask the person like why don't you talk to them I just don't it's never a legitimate reason like if someone says well they used to you know be inappropriate to me is understandable and I think sometimes people that have those type of relationships they never tell you I don't speak to my sibling anymore unless you bring it up and and sometimes they're like well you know I really don't want to talk about that it's not a a good thing and most people that say that you don't normally pressure them into telling you what makes it not a good thing now this is supposed to have some glitter in it and all I see is no glitter it's not shiny at all but maybe you can see it I don't know I don't know and it's not my business to tell people what they should and should not do. It's their life. I know if I had my uh, family closer, uh, I feel like things would be different. I would spend more time with them. I would do more things with them. Like, I don't know. But also, I'm not very people-y either. I'm not a people person. You all probably know that about, I probably have noticed that about me. Like, I don't want a huge circle of friends, a huge network of, um, party, on-gun party. 
just because it, it can be stressful especially when you start caring about your friends and they tell you stuff bad stuff has happened to them then you take on that bad stuff and now you're like oh I wonder how you know Bob is doing he said he got fired and you're trying to figure out how you can help Bob out and Bob's like no I'll be fine you don't need to help me out but Bob's your friend and you want to help him right I don't know at least that's my mindset like I have a really good neighbor that lives across the street from me and um, we're going to go ahead and just throw some ornaments in this tree you know they're very nice and kind very nice people some of the sweetest people I've ever met in my life and I'm very very grateful that they're um, you know they're in my life where sometimes you meet people like oh I'm so glad they don't want to be my friend no more Ooh, that was just a struggle trying to do this and do that because you probably have those people that you're like oh lord here comes so and so <laughs> and if you don't maybe you that person no let me stop yeah, we got little ornaments going on in the Christmas tree not too many because they didn't have any in there is this the same color no it's different we'll put these down here then anyway let me know have you put your tree up let me know our tree is not up yet I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna put it up while my son is at school or are we gonna even have a tree that's up to him if he behaves within the next couple of days we'll do a Christmas tree if not no tree right because once you become an adult do you really put trees up you know, if you know, if you know what I'm talking about, you don't know talk about. Anyway, I want to say thank you all so very, very much for hanging out with me today. We will probably finish up with our gel objects and then we'll get back to coloring this brown. I don't even know what these things are. But anyway, we'll try to get all these colored um, in the next couple of days. I want to say thank you for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.